Hi, so my name is Brown Coulter. I'm currently a PhD student and I'm interested in the role of kind of digitised communication and how it kind of helps enable access, but also as well like how diversity is kind of visualised in this environment. So the reason for these videos is very much coming out of the fact that men have been on the internet for a long time now, but I often find it really hard to share. So this is me trying to do that. Um, so the subject of this talk is going to be very, very simple. Most of these talks are going to come from something that I'm thinking through or things that I'm currently like having epiphanies about that I just think would be cool to put out there. And if anybody's interested, then I'm always here online and you can always come and get in touch with me any way you like. I'm addicted to that. So, yeah. Um, see, been here. Seen all the shit. I've had it happen. I do tend to waffle, so I'm going to try and keep this one brief. Um, last night I had an epiphany about uh, self care and being and belonging uh, off the back of like crazy stories I have about shit that goes down in my life that I'll probably share later on. Um, so I'm on the back of this like three day, no, seven day bender, right? Crazy dance dance, 3 a.m. in the morning, kind of shuffling, people coming around, a burns night, finally had one of those, um, like a party thing. Anyway, um, so I'm on the back of this like crazy bendery thing, but I also have deadlines and a talk with this like milestone committee that's scaring me shitless because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about half the time. No, I do know what I'm talking about. I just have issues to do with failure and feeling like an imposter in the PhD environment um, and academic environment in general. But we're going to transform that, aren't we? Yeah, it's all good. So the epiphany I had is basically one that arrives from me helping somebody else and me being in this weird space and having a number of like all-nighters and stuff. Um, but this person offers to kind of help or whatever. Probably best not to go into all of that. Anywho, the epiphany is something that I've been working through for a long time and it's to do with relationships and becoming myself but also understanding that I am one of the people who kind of helps everybody else but doesn't often center myself or get help or learn to be honest it's my fault as well I don't learn I have to ask people to help me and make it very clear how I need that help um so funnily it all kind of like goes back to my supervisor in this committee board meeting which turned out to not be that scary uh and there will be a video from that which I did yesterday in my two days of not sleeping, well, five days of not sleeping, um, kind of, oh, I'm going to film this, guys, in a dynamic moment, just before I start speaking, because I'm the last one there, and everybody else has gone before me, and the guy before me was fabulous. Oh, uh, I hate when that happens. Anyway, after my talk, where they basically were like, just get excited about everything and talk about everything but we don't know what the fuck you're about which is obviously something you're going to realize with these talks that i'm going to give but hopefully if people watch them enough they'll see that there is kind of trend to who the fuck i am um so we're in the space and at the end of it my supervisor who's lovely and awesome um but yeah is like trouble with you Mary Miz, you just love too much. Can't do the, the thing, I shouldn't do it. Uh, what's it called? Oh, an impression. And I was like, oh yeah, no that's true, I can totally from my last seven days of craziness see that, uh, slash seven thousand years of seeing that crazy and always thinking through that crazy all the time. So yeah, that happens and then at the end of the night some shit goes down in my private home, in my private space, and I saw myself. Now this week has been a really spiritual week, there's been all sorts of signs and motifs, the moon, blue, Mary, Mother Mary, 
Brazilian Mary with the sea and the water and the sea as well. Oh my God, so many motifs about me and my spirituality and, and shit that's always been around in my life. So this happens and in my space with this person and an interaction and I saw myself. I like legit and had an epiphany about a long time relationship that is so formulaic to who I am. Went a bit like, whoa, had to write some of that down. Um, but basically, I guess the end game is the epiphany that I would like to share with you all is one that I know we've, we've talked about a lot online and we constantly talk about, and that's that issue of kind of self care um, and you know how much you should like take care of yourself and how also it's gendered that women tend to care for everybody else but sometimes get very little in return. Now, being one of those people, I do find that really fascinating. But I guess what I'm trying to say also is, the epiphany I had is, I actually do need to take care of myself, because I am fucking useless. I mean, I break myself and I go beyond and I still continue to help, but essentially all I'm doing is harming myself really badly. Um, but I'm also not being the person I wanna be. And that's actually frustrating for somebody else to watch. To watch somebody who could be awesome, who has cool tendencies, but also has quite tendencies that make somebody's like innate and just go, oh crap, like shit, you've got some hurt there and I can't actually help with that and you're making me feel shit because I can't help you with that. Um, that rarely happens with me because I'm constantly like, how can I help? But this was that moment when I was like, crap, I can't help. I need to walk away. I want to work away. It'd be healthier if we walk away. And I'm trying. And then I realised that sometimes, sometimes, very early in a very long relationship, that was me. But that, that I mean, we're going to talk about that all the time. But yeah, like, I mean, all good to this person. But sometimes that same transference also occurs in relationships that have happened for a very long time, which has happened this week as well, where we've been helping, one, like I've been helping other persons and whatever, and it's like, we need, there's a moment now, there's a, there's a disruption, there's a disruption that's having to take place. We need to walk away from one another, because just even for 10 minutes, it's not an abandonment, it's not a movement, because the love and the palpable basis is still there, the fundamental basis. But it would actually effectively be amazing if we did walk away because then you'd become more of yourself and I'd become more of myself because we'd both grow. And then we'd come back together and be like all friendly and shit. And also we get to know who this new person is and explore again. And I think, yeah, like perhaps historically that's the way it's always been, you know? Like most of the time we're all kind of gendered and colonized in our genders to like live in separate lives and come together only slightly and explore one another and go out and do other things um yeah so that socialization was fascinating and is fascinating for me um so is this knowledge that i had this epiphany i finally realized it was a person who for a long time is very much formulaic in my life who i'm currently not speaking to um must have felt <laughs> um and yeah I guess perhaps being very honest and I'm quite an open honest person like maybe I'm also doing these videos because I'm like I'm not gonna talk because I, I did I did do the crappy thing of unblocking certain elements of online to check what they was up to but yeah I can't remember if I actually messaged because my head's broken like really broken right now um, anywho, but the fun upshot of all of this crap is, is like, there's two novels of three that I've been trying to write for like ages now, right? Ages. I'm scared of writing. Not good if you're doing a PhD, but I think I've finally got one of the characters. Um, yeah, I know, like, like they're actually rounded now. It's not just projections, you know? It's not just like ethereal kind of mappings and like trying to be schematic, but really you're just fucking working through your pain. I don't want that shit. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. And on that like more kind of, I guess, exciting note, I'm gonna end. Um, thank you for listening to my kind of lucid, crazy, you know, stream of consciousness. Um, it's been a long time, hoping to get better. 
any feedback appreciated and also if you connect with some of this shit and you want to talk I'm down for that take care bye